Like, why would you just steal all the G&G combat machines, but then completely ignore the ASG Scorpion Evo? Did they look at all the G&Gs and say, those gotta be mine, but they, they looked at the Evo and went, gross. That's where I believe the person who did this didn't exactly know what they were doing. Alright, so a couple days ago, about Sunday morning, while I was in Waxahachie, Texas at 878 Airsoft, my home field, the place where I began playing Airsoft and where I began the US Airsoft channel on, got robbed or burglarized, whatever. What happened was sometime early morning, maybe at like two to four in the morning or so, someone went through the gate at Mission Airsoft, uh, went to this camper area. Well, it, we have like this big camper where all the rental guns are stored, the magazines and everything that will generally be used for every weekend on Saturdays when we open up Mission, Mission Airsoft. It's where we keep all the paperwork, where we keep all the supplies, basically. And they ripped the door right off the camper and they cleaned the place out. They took 16 combat machines, they took my Classic Army AK that I just got from the mystery box, they took, uh, I think, two other customers' guns, they took every battery, they took every charger, they took the chronographs, they took every bottle of BBs and all the face pro and all the eye protection and some little other things, but they cleaned the entire place out. But they didn't, for some reason, take the ASG Scorpion Evo carbine that was in there. They left that completely alone where it was. And honestly, I got this news from Miss Michelle, the owner of the field, while I was at 878 Airsoft and my day was going perfect and then I got that news and I was a mix of really pissed off and really bummed that anybody would do that to someone like her. If you know anybody at Mission Airsoft, you would know that they are some of the kindest people in all of Airsoft when it comes to Texas. They've been doing so much for so many different people and something like this goes and happens, and so many people got riled up about it. Miss Michelle has helped me out in so many different occasions, and there's almost no way I can really repay it back. But just me starting Airsoft at Mission Airsoft, and even beginning the US Airsoft channel, which you're enjoying, hopefully, is, is something that is just something that can't be repaid. Just so, just so to think that something like this would happen to them, it, it got me in all sorts of mixed emotions. So after some discussion, after I figured out everything that was stolen, I didn't care that my classic army got stolen. That, that I didn't worry about, but I was more upset about what would have, what would, it would cost to get Mission Airsoft back up and running because with the amount of stuff that was stolen from, from this break-in, Mission Airsoft was going to be closed for possible months. It was not going to be open next weekend for sure. So uh, I, I called Operator Drewski up and he gave me the idea to go start a GoFundMe. And <laughs> in the matter of three hours or so, well, like I started the goal at $500 to get raised for them. And we got $500 in like 30 minutes. <laughs> No, 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 it was like an hour or something. So I rose it up to a $750 goal, and we broke that in like another 10 minutes afterwards. And then I just went, okay, so let's go and throw it up to a thousand. Uh, we broke that about two hours after that. <laughs> I shared the GoFundMe on my Instagram at US Airsoft YouTube. I know it's kind of confusing, but uh, I shared that on my Instagram, I shared it on my Facebook, and I cannot believe how many of you guys really helped out and the amount of money that you guys donated was crazy. Um, I I'm going to read off the names because these people really deserve to be named. Oh and by the way, after we broke a thousand, I rose it up to twelve fifty, but I'm probably going to raise this up one more time to fifteen hundred dollars because we already broke to twelve sixty, so I, I want to do a little bit more. They're going to have to, they're, I think the amount of stuff that was stolen was about three thousand dollars worth of, worth of items but hopefully this will definitely make a dent in those costs and hopefully we can get Mission Airsoft back up and running so real quick I want to thank Mr. Rogers, Kirk, Marcus and Yvette Curtis, Micah Hauser, uh, Jesus Salas, uh, even, even my girlfriend Haley she turned in 20 bucks um, 
we're just going down the list. Connor Sherwin turned in $100. Uh, Rebecca Hauser, she donated $45. Michael Ludlow, a $150 donation. That was crazy when I saw it. And, and then George Quintana, $200. This was crazy to see. This, this amount blew up so fast. And it was really cool to see the amount of people that turned in to help out a local field, a San Antonio field. There's a lot in Texas now, there's a lot of Texas fields that are starting to open up. But just to see the amount of people that made this happen, <laughs> I don't know what to say guys. There's just so much excitement and joy and, and there's just a connection I've gotten from this community because of this. I didn't expect this to happen so quickly. But I'm so grateful for this. I'm not even receiving the money for anything. I'm just going to be withdrawing this, hopefully, and giving it straight to Michelle Hauser from Mission Airsoft. And she's going to be able to take care of so much. But I just have to thank you all for this. This is crazy. I'm going to keep this going for one more week. If you guys would like to donate anything, then be sure to check out the link in the description for the GoFundMe. Or if you would like to email me about anything, about how maybe you can help out Mich uh, Michelle Hauser and Mission Airsoft, there will also be my email address so you guys can message me anything or just send some, some good wishes if you'd like to. But definitely check out the description if you want to go check out the GoFundMe and donate whatever you guys would want to. And one more time guys, I'd love to thank you all for all the help that you guys have been able to give Michelle Hauser and Mission Airsoft. I would hope that you guys would do just as much for Michelle Hauser if it were to have happened to me. And I'd like to thank you all for that. Um, I really don't know what else to say. I'm right now at my other job. I also do some realty on the side. I'm a marketing manager here. And I know i got to get back to work here, but I couldn't resist but to make this quick video just to thank all these people, everyone that's donated, every single person that shared the GoFundMe around. Uh, so many people. Ooh. Operator Drewski, thank you for giving me the advice to go do this. You're awesome, dude. But until that next video drops from the city of San Antonio, this has been Scott Hollenbeck, and I'll be sure to see you all next time.